Hello everyone, welcome to getting started video series for Telerik Test Studio. In this video, we're gonna learn about how to enable translators in Telerik Test Studio and how they give you native support to test functionalities related to Telerik UI for Blazor. To make sure that your Telerik UI for Blazor translator is enabled or not, You'll have to go to your project settings, go to your translator section, open HTML, and make sure that you have Telric UI for Blazor Translator enabled. I'm going to keep this unchecked and then just use HTML base to write a test and show you how it is to write a test by just using HTML base. And we'll write the same test by using Telric UI for Blazor Translator. For this demo test, I would like to see if my cascading dropdown list on my authors page is working fine or not. If I go to my authors page, here, if I enter city for this autocomplete text box, the state gets loaded in this dropdown list. If I select Philadelphia in this text box, then Pennsylvania gets loaded in the dropdown list. If I select Dallas as my city, then Texas gets loaded in the dropdown list. I would like to test this functionality by using Telric Test Studio by using HTML Base Translator. For that, I've created a test. I'm going to right click and click on record to record the test. Select URL where your author's page is and click on record. This will open my Chrome, it will load up my extension, and then it will go to the page where we can perform the steps. Here, I'm going to select Philadelphia as my city. Once I select Philadelphia in the autocomplete text box, then Pennsylvania gets loaded in the dropdown list. I'm going to use this highlighting toolbar to make sure that Pennsylvania is the text which is selected in the dropdown list. To stop the recording, I'm going to close the browser and come back to my test studio. Here you can see that the test studio use dynamically generated elements to add steps for this test. These elements are generated by Teltic UI components. And these are different every time you render your page. So this test will not work when you run your test. I'm going to right click on this test and show you that this test is going to fail because the dynamically generated elements will be different when we render this page, when we run our test. It will open the browser, load the extension, and it will enter the text in the city text box but you can see that it's not selecting Philadelphia because the dynamically generated element is different in different times and it will fail our test. Let's go ahead and use Telric UI for Blazor Translator to write this test. I'm going to select all the tests by pressing Ctrl A and press delete to delete all the steps and then go to project settings to enable Telric UI for Blazor Translator. Here, I'm going to select Telric UI for Blazor Translator and click on OK. Now let's go ahead and record the same test. For that, I'm going to right click on my cascading dropdown list and click on record. Here, I'm going to enter the city as Philadelphia. And once I select Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is getting loaded in dropdown list. I'm going to select this highlighting option from this recording toolbar. And once I hover over this dropdown list, you can see that Telric Blazor dropdown list is getting populated as the translator. And when I go to quick step, then it's asking me to add a verification step as Telric Blazor dropdown list selected item text is BA. 
and that will get added into my test studio. If I go to my test studio, you can see that now it's not using dynamically generated elements. It's using Telerik Blazor list for autocomplete text box and it's using Telerik Blazor dropdown list to see if the text is PA or not. You can also use this translator to check if the grid view has enough count or not. So if I hover over my Teldrick Blazor grid, it lets me add count as 19 for that Blazor grid view. If I try to perform the same test by using HTML base translator, I'm using HTML table cell. And here, if I try to add a quick step, it does not give me option to check the count for that Telerik grid. Let's go ahead and verify if the count is 19 by using this translator. To stop recording, I'm going to close the browser. And now let's run this test to see if it's working fine or not. I'm going to right click on my test and click on run test. It's going to ask me the browser that I would like to run the test for. And then it's going to select Philadelphia and you can see that our test is passing now. So this is how you can use Teldrick UI for Blazor Translator to test your Teldrick components functionality. If you're using Teldrick UI for your application, Test Studio, provides a native support to test your functionality for Telerik components by using Telerik UI for Blazor translators. Telerik Test Studio also provides translators for other UI frameworks, like if you're using Kendo UI for Angular or Kendo UI for jQuery, it also provides translators for that UI framework. You can also get some translators for uh, Windows Presentation Foundation, or if your application is Silverlight, you can use translators for that too. That's all about translators. If you have any questions, please post those questions in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me on my Twitter account, or you can send me an email at qhdrive at gmail.com. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.